NTT Basic Research Laboratories is conducting ongoing research in photonic crystals made from silicon. If holes having a diameter 200 nanometers are arranged periodically in a thin silicon film 200 nanometers thick, the thin film functions as an optical insulator, confining light in an ultra-small area. In this research, we have created a photonic crystal using indium gallium arsenide phosphide instead of silicon. This new material has significant optical nonlinearity, which makes new applications possible. In cooperation with NTT Basic Research Laboratories, NTT Photonics Laboratories has created an indium gallium arsenide phosphide photonic crystal element. The area where holes are linearly removed is the light waveguide. And the area where some holes are shifted a few nanometers away from the center of the waveguide functions as an optical resonator. The resonator is extremely small, about optical wavelength size. Since it is surrounded by the optical insulator, it can confine light to a very small size when the light resonates with it. A bias light is input from the neighboring waveguide. However, the wavelength is slightly different from the resonant wavelength of the resonator. In this case, most of the power of the light cannot enter the resonator. Once an optical pulse is added, the bias light can enter the resonator and is output from the opposite waveguide. This is because the refractive index of the resonator is changed by the optical pulse due to the optical nonlinearity of the material. Consequently, the resonant wavelength of the resonator approaches the bias wavelength. When the bias power is weakened momentarily, the light once more cannot enter the resonator and the output light drops to almost zero as the refractive index of the resonator returns to its original state. If we call the state in which there is output light on and the state with no output off, this device can be used as an optical bit memory. The energy required for the bias light is only 40 microwatts. The on state can be maintained for 150 nanoseconds. At this low power, there is sufficient hold time for use as a bit memory. This chip, serving as a memory which keeps the optical signal in optical form, represents the first step toward achieving information processing by using all optical signal processing. 